gays on a boat, no. two gays on a horse, no. two gays on a bike, no. two gays on a couch. Yay! Hey, check out these fancy new mugs we got. Whoa, minus what? words. Yes, they both do. And it's got a little picture of Joe. Yeah, look. And it says, bottoms up. Because he likes to drink. Yeah. Of course. You know, and you want to get to the bottom of the, of the, of the cup. And mine says, top me off. Because you like to top things. Yes, I do. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. The topic for today's episode is... Gay clubs! So. Gay clubs. Gay clubs. Love them, hate them. What do you feel? I hate them. You hate them. I hate them. Forever. Two fists down. Yes. <laughs> Why do you hate them? I don't like drinking or dancing. So those are kind of two of the major activities that you do at a gay club. And making out with strangers. Right, yeah. Which, which usually goes with the drinking and the dancing. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't say I do that. It's not really right. a hobby of mine. Here's my biggest beef. For gay people in particular, it's really hard to meet other people, right? So a lot of people go to gay clubs right. and or gay bars. First of all, you walk in and it's like pitch black. So you can't see anything. So how are you going to meet somebody if you can't see anybody? It's true. But then you're maybe basing somebody not on their looks because you actually can't see their face. Well, you would think that, but then the music is so damn loud that you can't hear anything <laughs> either. And I try to tell jokes, yeah, I'm so loud, huh? Two penises! And they don't, they don't get the joke. This because usually the music stops right before <laughs> the word two penises. Silence. Two penises yelled at the top of your lungs. Which would actually attract the attention of pretty much everybody <laughs> in the yeah. club. So you'd think I'd be scoring huge. No, that makes sense. I mean, you know, I, when I came out, it was like pre grinder pre-meeting people on your phone. So it really was like going to the gay bar. That was the place you'd go to meet people. But the thing that is really nice about gay bars, you never get to be in a place where it's predominantly gay men or predominantly gay people. I guess that, that aspect of fear, I guess even living in a big city, you never know like in front of straight people if you're gonna like put your arm around your boyfriend in front of the wrong straight person. There's a, always that like aspect of, is this safe? And a gay bar, it's totally safe. Right. I mean, there's probably other things at a gay bar that are not safe. Poison. Poison. <laughs> Hearing a toxic amount of dance music. Machetes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's just not really my scene. What I find is that when I go to gay clubs, I just don't have much in common with any of the people there. So I just feel like I don't fit in with anybody. Well, I will say that the reason you probably don't feel like you have anything in common with them is because the only thing you have to base them on is that they're drunk. They're, drink <laughs> they're, they're, they're <laughs> drinking and they're dancing, which are two things you don't do. I mean, dancing is fun. I'm actually, I don't know why I say actually, I could be surprised. I'm a horrible dancer. But sometimes it's nice to just like, move and feel free and like move to music. I can do that in the privacy of my own home. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I don't understand why I have to do it in front of Public. other people. It's not that when we go, I don't have fun. Like I enjoy being out and socializing. That's not actually true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just not my idea of a fun night. Like what happened to just playing board games and video games and eating pizza? That's what I want to do. That's my idea of a fun night. Look, like I'm not saying that my idea of fun every night is Drinking and dancing and making out strangers. Just most nights. <laughs> For me, I would rather meet somebody and have a conversation with them and have kind of banter and back and forth. And it's really hard to do that at gay clubs. That makes sense. You know, I think it depends on what you're going to gay bars or clubs for. I think the danger is when you go to gay bars or gay clubs, thinking like, here's where I'm gonna meet like my soulmate. I guess I don't actually know anyone who's ever met their boyfriend or life partner at a bar or club. So if that's the reason you're going there, I feel like you're putting expectation on that place that it's yeah. not gonna carry out. Maybe I was just traumatized because one time there was a man dancing and he was dancing with a lot of force and he swooped his arm and he knocked all the drinks off the table and they all spilled on me. Oh no. And he didn't even apologize. He, oh no. Yeah. That guy has ruined gay clubs for you forever. If you're out there, crazy arms guy. Say you're sorry and maybe Hat will apologize. Because I'm not a happy hatter. I was gonna say that. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Tell us your gay bar club experiences. Oh yeah. Do you like going out? Do you not like going out? You know, is there a reason why you do it? Or a reason why you dread doing it? Tell us in the comments. I'm making sexy eyes. <laughs> is that you do at clubs? You make sexy eyes? Yeah, but nobody can see. And do, it just... do the sexy eyes. Yeah, maybe it's good that people can't see. No, no, I'm kidding. It's only funny when I'm mean to you. No, <laughs> you're right, it's not funny when I'm mean to you. Hey, Joe Worker, did you know that the new Two Gays mugs are now available for purchase? No, I didn't know that. Do tell me more. Well, if you click on one of our faces, you'll be redirected to the Adventures in Gay Spreadshirt store where you can purchase the mugs, which come in four convenient colors. That sounds gay-mazing. But wait, Joe, that's not all. If you use the promo code HOLIDAY, you get free shipping on any purchase. That sounds gay-tacular. Everyone should buy the Joe Worker mug because of all the gays on Two Gays on a couch, I'm the cutest and I'm the smartest 
and I'm definitely the tallest and handsomest, and I'm the most attractivest, and I'm sexy. Joe, come on, enough. We, we really want people to buy these mugs. And I have the nicest hats. Yay, Joe Worker, vote for me. Buy my mug. I'm the gay. Two gays on a fork. No, two gays on a calculator. No, two gays on a movie. No, two gays on a couch. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're here. We're queer. And we're, we're on sterile. <laughs> I thought it rhymed, but then no. it didn't. That was really horrible. <laughs> How depressing.